Hey gang, well it's the Constant Outdoorsman here. Haven't been on, on YouTube in a while, but uh, this one here is too daggum good not to put it out there for you. All right, so we're out here on Standard Lake. I got a uh, called by one of the landowners out here. Said that the beaver are just tearing up all the trees and whatnot. So I want to show you what all they did. This is all their feed pile that they had. And I'm standing on top of their lodge right here. So this one here was in a run <clears throat> off to my, my left. Over there down in the run out there with a uh, 330. And it's a Duke. So good full suitcase catch. And uh, I'm gonna try to go over here and not get not fall in. So we got four beaver this morning. So this afternoon. There's the other one in a TS85. And I put a caster mount up there on that run. You see they would go up by the lodge. So I put a TS85 there and got a drowner on that one. So that one's belly up, which is very good. And then we'll go over here. Let me walk around this without falling in or falling. But it's gonna take me two trips to get these big boys out of here. So this was <clears throat> their other main entrance. And they had a feed pile right here. I put a TS-85 right there, you can see it or not. And, and another TS-85 with a caster mount set right there. And then, but this little run right out through there is what I see and I thought, it's kind of weird because if you can see, the run runs right out through here, out of this opening. And I got another one out there that didn't catch anything, but I got four out of five traps had a beaver in it this morning. So I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna push pause, so I'll be right back, stand by. All right, well, we're back. So this one got on a TS-85 and that big monster, look at that thing. It's huge. I, I'm, I haven't even weighed it yet but ginormous so that one i caught on that ts85 right there on that caster mount set it swam out the end of my drowner line you can see the cable right there all the way up to there but it got a back foot catch or front foot catch and it still swam out over the log and i had a, a 330 just because i thought that was that's a good run and it stuck its head in there so the it pulled the weight up off the bottom i've lost one of my weights down here i'll get it at some point <clears throat> but um that's how big and powerful these things are. So, Constant Outdoorsman, 2017. It's uh, November 29th, something like that. And uh, we're catching beaver. We got four out of five traps today. It's a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll try to make some more videos. It's Constant Outdoorsman. Stay classy. Hey, Constant Doors are back. Hey, you got a this is a beaver we got in a TS85. So these are traps that I just love to use as my weight. But uh, I want to show you what a TS85 is. So what I did, this is a run. But they were going for feeding up here. And uh put this little pocket back here. I probably could have used a 330, but I decided to put a foothold in here and got them back foot, good back foot catch. And I put a caster mount back in there. So I just want to show you what that one looks like.